So look what just came in the mail today over here. We gotta go and take this thing out. So I just got in the mail, go with brand new outdoor lights, man. It ain't even out yet or nothing like that. So that mean I have to get it somehow. Basically what I'm saying is shout out to Kofi for actually sending this out to me. But obviously I'm not gonna be biased just cause they gave me a free product. I'm gonna say what I need to say. And that's exactly why we gotta go and check this thing out over here. So I actually been working on my outdoor lights a lot recently and they actually hit me up saying that they wanted to send these out to me. So I was like, hell yeah, of course I wanna get it. I already got the Govi permanent outdoor lights that I did videos on and y'all love them videos, man. So we back at it again for more Govi stuff. Except this time I'm gonna need an electrician for this cause you can't go ahead and install this yourself. This one of them DIY products that you can't really DIY, you still need an electrician unless you want. Anyway, if you want to go and cop these right here, it's going to run you 170 for a two pack and it's going to run you 90 bucks for a one pack, which honestly, I think that's actually a pretty decent deal, especially because like I got Philips Hue everywhere, man. Like I got Philips Hue light bulbs over here and they ain't cheap, bro. I'm just saying. They some good quality lights, but they ain't cheap at all. But I want to go and see if these actually hold up or not because that's still something I'm not really sure about Govi yet. I ain't had them long enough. From what I hear in my experience so far, Govi actually got some pretty good quality products, but we're going to have to see. Anyway, we got Manor power lights over here so we got manor we got google assistant we got alexa we don't really got nothing else but with manor you should be able to take care of that you should go and pair it to your smart things or your whatever else that you need that works with manor and the brightness for this actually go to 1500 lumens so we're gonna have to see what this look like at night because man I, my backyard is gonna go crazy y'all gonna see it already looked pretty dope so far i'm not gonna lie i've been putting a lot of work into my backyard this gonna make it look even better anyway we don't even need to cut this because it just got this open thing right here i could just pull up but I don't care, bro. I'm still going to cut it because I just like cutting things. But let's see what's good with this. I have to go over to my living room because it's just, you know, better. Anyway, what do we got over here? Your journey begins now. We got a matter guide card. So like I said, this dude support manners. So that's pretty dope. And then we got a quick start guide, which I guess I'll hold on to for my electrician. He can look at that. I don't really need it. Pretty clean. We just got the Govi logo up on there. And I'm pretty sure we do got a light sensor up on this for, you know, just to go ahead and add your lights. But I'm going to have to go and look at that a little bit later. And then obviously we got the second one right here. So this is a two pack, like I said. All right. So what else we got up here? We got some screws and different things like like that to go ahead and manage you know your wiring whatever else and then it looks like we got some back plates so again i'm gonna leave it off with electrician they ain't really nothing for me a boxing ain't really not too crazy it looked like we just got our quick start guy like i said and maybe a wiring diagram or no oh, no nah, this is just a dream view i right, bet so govi dream view is basically to make your lights work together seamlessly so they look pretty dope when you do it but again we just got the quick start guide manner card user manual and that's about it. And my electrician said he ain't available till tomorrow, so I'm basically shit out of luck till then. So until then. I did y'all thing, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Cause I already got the app. It usually just pop up when I pull it up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. You wanna do it real quick? Yeah. yeah. Like I said, bro, huge, huge shout out to JNG Electric for going ahead and putting this up for me, bro. They did they shit with this for real, I'm telling you. I probably could have put it a little bit lower, but I think we all right. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you what's going on with this app over here. So since I thought it was a two-pack, I thought it was going to show together in the app, but apparently not. It just shows two separate ones, and I had to go ahead and name it myself. But it's pretty de but it's pretty easy to go ahead and add. So if you want to go ahead and add it, just go ahead and go to the Govi app. You're going to go and click on this plus here at the top, and then it's going to go ahead and show here at the top where it says scanning new nearby devices. But 
But you just get that a minute and it should show up. But anyway, let's go back over here and then we got the two lights over here. So we got wall light left and then we got wall light right. And then I also got this over here. So in the home tab at the top and at the home tab at the bottom, you got the group section over here if you scroll all the way down and then it's right there. So I made one for these. So if I wanna, I can go and turn them both off at the same time and I can go and turn them both on at the same time, just like that. And I can just go and manage the rest like I'll show y'all here. So you got a few different functions up in here. So we got microphones. So let me go and click on that real quick. Let me show you that. So you, 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 you. That's pretty dope, bro. You also got color over here. So you can choose the color you want and you can choose a segment that you want the color in. So I can choose yellow right here. I can go ahead and do blue right there. And I can go ahead and do some, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do red right there. So that's what it's going to look like. Let me go and zoom in real quick. That's what it's going to look like right there. Pretty dope. I know it's kind of hard to see. Like I need to go ahead and just bring down my brightness. All right, now I think you can see a little bit better. So that's what we looking like right there. And then if you want, you can go and make it a gradient animation. Next up, we got our scenes over here. So this is actually pretty dope. This is going to be my favorite over here. So as you can see, it's going crazy over here in the background. This is back on the microphone. Hold on. But we got a few different scenes over here. So we got forest. Let's go and click on that. And then that's what it's going to look like right there. It's just going to be green. We got Aurora. Let me go and click on that. And that's what it's going to look like right there for you too. And honestly, I figured it will just be better if I just zoom into one light. So that's what Aurora is going to look like. Next up, we got fire. Let's go and see what that looked like. And... Pretty basic. And by the way, real quick, I want to say a lot of these scenes I never seen before. So I'm pretty sure a lot of these is new specifically for these lights. Next up, we got rainbow. So pretty much what you would just expect, just a regular rainbow. We got firefly. Let's see what that look like. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go and try something I've never seen before. So we're going to try ghost and that's what's going to look like right there. So honestly, that would be pretty dope if it was like Halloween or something like that. And I guess it still look cool. And this ain't the camera or nothing. That's literally just how the light look right now. Let's see what Lotus Pond look like. And yeah, I mean, that's cool. Maple Tree Forest. Clicking on that. That's what we're going to get. Graffiti's my favorite from the spotlight. So let me go and click on that. And you can see that right there. I mean, it's a clean look to it. I like it. I fuck with it. Another one of my favorites is going to be Wave. So let's go and click on that. And as you can see, it's going to kind of just mimic a regular wave. So as you can see with the animation dope and then we just got our holidays over here like christmas so that's what you're gonna look like right there for christmas you got halloween so let me go and click on halloween that's gonna be that we got ice drinks i don't know what ice drinks is supposed to be but maybe just I, I, honestly i couldn't tell you bro <laughs> let's check out red mist right here so clicking on that and it works pretty quick by the way i want to say when i click on these it's pretty much no delay let's try out stream i never tried out stream before and i mean a lot of these, like, some of those I see right here just ain't really nothing I would click on because I don't really see much going on. But you got your regular effects over here. So if you don't want to do all them animations or whatever else, you could just put a regular light up, as you can see, right there. And then we got illumination, clicking on that. That's what it's going to look like. So just a uh, more warmer white. And then we just got some others over here, like we got dusk. We got sunset. We got going home. And then we got journey. So that's what's going to look like right there for you. But that's pretty much it for the app. But honestly, man, like in terms of the brightness, I'm looking at these right now. I did not really expect it to be that bright, but I'm looking at it right now. And it is pretty bright. So I like it right here in my garage. I think I did choose a good spot for that. Because at first I was going to choose my crib, but then I was like, yeah, there's too much light going on over there. So let me just go and put it over here. And it looked dope, bro. And one thing I really like about it is if you look, you can actually see that it's not just a head on look. You can actually get lighting here from the side too. Like if you see this B-roll right here. So I'm looking at this light from my angle and you could clearly see what's going on with that light over there. But yeah, man, I mean, it looked clean in my garage and I ain't got no complaints about it so far. I just got it out the box though and I just tried it out today for the first time. They just installed it. But I'm gonna have to go and test this out some more. But in terms of the brightness, like I was telling y'all, like it's, as you can see, it's still daytime. So it's not even night yet and it still looked bright. And it was like complete daytime brightness. Even then, it still looked bright. So I think this is a go for sure. And I'm not saying that because I got this for free. I just genuinely think like this is actually a pretty nice product so far.
far. Like with Phillips Hue, I don't think he could do this much customization with it. And that's saying a lot, cause like if you see over here at the top of my house and on the side of my garage and all that, I got Phillips Hue all around my crib, man. Like the Govee is new for me. With that being said, man, I'm gonna go and get about it here for now. So y'all stay tuned for more videos with this and I'll let y'all know how y'all feel about this. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about it so far in the comments below. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. But if you're in the Kenosha, Milwaukee, or Lake County area, I'll go ahead and leave their social media down below so you can go and check them out. So I'll leave a link down below for the Govi light and I'll leave a link down below for the electrician. So if you go ahead and buy the Govi light with my link, then I can actually go ahead and get commission off it. So it's nothing extra to you. But I do benefit off it and I would appreciate you if you go ahead and use that link if you don't go ahead and buy these things. But anyway, man, hopefully I enjoyed this. Appreciate you for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Sentek, and there's a Grimman X at Facebook, but it's Grimman X on most active. But I've been wanting a light right here in my garage, like on the size of my garage for a minute now. And now that I finally got it, I'm, I'm glad it's there, man, because it looks so dope to me, especially like when I finally get my actual patio heater fixed because the wind knocked it over and it broke the middle glass tube and I'm pissed about it. But when I get that fixed again and I go ahead and refill my propane tank, it's going to look so dope combined, bro. These summers are going to go crazy, bro. I swear to God. But for right now, I'm going to get to book y'all later, man. Y'all stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.